Hello everybody and welcome to a new video on Hurricane TV. This time it's episode 4.3 and in this episode I'm going to show you how to produce full carbon rudder blades by using vacuum resin infusion technology. And for those of you which have seen already the previous video, episode 4.2, you know exactly that in this episode I have produced a split mold and this split mold we are going to use now to produce the rudder blades. Just in case you find this topic extremely interesting and you would like to follow also my further videos, please subscribe to my channel, ring the bell and be informed when new videos are posted. How is my plan to produce these rudder blades? Well, there are different steps ahead. With step number one, I will drill different holes in the existing rudder blades. And this is very interesting and <laughs> exciting job to drill a lot of holes. So actually everywhere where I have marked this red cross here, I'm going to drill a hole in these rudder blades. Why is this so important and interesting for me? Because by doing so, I will see exactly how thick the glass fiber layer is in the existing current original rudder blade. And this will give me some further information how many layers of carbon fiber I have to put in the mold in order to get, first of all, the structural um, um, stability of the rudder blade and secondly um, it's very important because I also want to reduce the weight of the rudder blade. So at the moment this rudder blade has a weight of approximately 5 kgs and my goal is to achieve even a lower weight by using carbon fiber and different form, foam core materials. So in the first step I will drill the holes, I will check out what, how thick are the layers. In the second step, I will take my split molds and I will apply minimum 10 to 12 coats of release agent. This is extremely critical, <laughs> as you have seen also in my previous episodes, that uh, at the end I also get the ready carbon parts out of the shape and of the mold, because I have to use it minimum twice because I want to produce two rudder blades as it will be a double rudder steering system. And after applying the release agent, I will make, um, I will make a pattern out of plastic foil. And with this plastic foil pattern, I will cut the different layers of carbon fiber. Then I will put the carbon fiber in the mold and the rest you will see when I will infuse it with the resin. So let's drill some holes. Well guys, this was really interesting. When I drilled the first hole, it really hurt a little bit. But after the second one, it didn't hurt that much <laughs> anymore. So at the end, I drilled a number of holes. And by doing so, 
I discovered that there is some brownish structure, superstructure in the rudder. And to be honest, there was only one solution to really find out how the material is constructed inside. And I decided to cut it into pieces. And yeah, you want to see how the rudder looks inside? Here it is. Let's have a closer look. As you can see, the rudder construction is quite interesting. There is this glass fiber laminate layer. Well, well, certainly first the gel coat, then the glass fiber laminate itself. And inside there is another glass fiber laminate pocket, which is filled with epoxy foam. And inside there is a layer, a block layer of epoxy foam, which is laminated the whole length of the rudder. and which is giving additional stability to the whole thing. So what is my idea now to produce this rudder? Instead of this foam block, epoxy foam block, I'm going to use a part of my entrance board, which I have lam laminated in one of the previous episodes and I have some spare part of this um, entrance board and as you can see there are different layers of closed cell foam and in between some carbon um, fabric and I will cut this also in kind of a block and I will put this block inside of the rudder. Actually, I will laminate it inside with carbon fabric over it totally. And actually, my idea is to avoid this epoxy foam as much as possible. I'm not a big fan of this epoxy foam material because as you can see, there are a lot of air gaps in inside and also this epoxy foam has the ability when you temper the rudder blade at the end it's still expanding and this expanding this post expanding can crack up your rudder halves into two pieces actually I don't want to do this so my idea is to use this carbon laminate as a filling and use also some other special foam material which are possible to infuse and by doing this I would like to avoid using this epoxy foam and at the end what you can see here the rudder halves are glued together with a special epoxy foam. So I have a special epoxy foam called Voodoo Glue. And this Voodoo Glue is really incredible stuff based on epoxy, two component glue. And this glue is indestructible. So you can only separate the parts by destroying them as soon as the glue is hardened and tempered. So I will use this glue to combine the two rudder blades. So that was really, really, really very interesting. And I would say, let's start putting the material together for infusion.
before putting different layers of carbon fiber fabric into the mold, I thought it's maybe a clever idea to look a little bit more detailed into the current rudder, how it is constructed. For this reason I have decided to cut it even into more pieces and actually I thought you have to see that because it's really interesting. So let's have a closer look into the rest of the rudder. So what you see here is the rest of the rudder and it's really amazing how thin it is actually constructed. Look at this. I mean there is maximum 1.5 millimeters. Even the top coat, I think the, the gel coat it has the same thickness which is which you can see in white has the same thickness than the glass fiser laminate actually. That's amazing. So it's so thin laminated and also here this is the end, the end of this of this brownish structural epoxy foam block and that's the end of it and here you can see this is there is a pocket inside and on the top of the rudder, the head of the rudder is really quite thick laminated so there is obviously the biggest uh, the biggest pressure on it and the biggest tension so but the rest of of the rudder is really pretty fragile constructed as you can see also here so this is two millimeters but at the end it's going down to 1.5 millimeters so what does this mean now for me and our project this means that I will put less carbon layers in especially in the lower part and because I'm pretty sure it is stable enough by adding let's say four layers of carbon fiber cloth which equals into two millimeters this should be more than enough and it will be actually more than it is at the moment on the current rudder. After putting 13 layers of carbon fabric and different foam core materials into the mold, I'm ready now for infusion. And if you are more interested in how many layers and which layers I have put in the mold, you can have a look in the next slide because I will show it to you now. As you have seen in my summary, I have used 13 different layers and I have calculated a total ready weight of the rudder which is about 5.1 
kilogram and actually this equals pretty much to the weight of the original rudder blade. Now you will think why the carbon rudder blade is not lighter than the original one because it should be actually actually be lighter. Well, when you remember, I've shown you the rudder blade, how thin it is constructed. And sure, if I would take the same amount of layers in carbon fiber, which is used originally in glass fiber, the new rudder blades would be approximately 1, 1 1.5 kilograms lighter than the current rudder blade but actually for me for the first trial i decided to be to go really 100 percent on the sure side to get an extremely stiff rudder blade because i want to avoid any vibration when going fast in the water and therefore i decided to really put a lot of carbon layers in to get maximum stiffness out of it and also this core material this core laminate which I will which I have put inside of the rudder is is extremely stiff almost impossible to bend so it's much stiffer than the current um, foam core which is used in the current rudder blade so all in all I think it will be really extremely nice and good rudder blade and yeah there's nothing left to say if you are interested to see how the infusion works and how the rudder blade comes out after infusion then i can only recommend you please subscribe to my channel ring the bell and stay tuned when the new video is posted very soon have a good time and see you in the next video goodbye